Hi, this video is about um, absorption of fats and we'll concentrate on triglycerides and what they do when they're digested and absorbed into the lacteals rather than the capillaries and eventually they go into the blood but we'll get to that in a while but firstly it's tie of the day and here we are with Nikola Tesla on my tie in a beautiful fashion item that will remind you of which school you'd love to go to but can't for the moment and so you're stuck at home with me and my lovely videos so let's have a look at what happens here. So first of all, fats aren't soluble in water. They tend to be non-polar, which means they are repelled by water and they repel water, they're hydrophobic. And so what has to happen in order to begin digestion is they have to be emulsified. So here's a couple of my representations of droplets of fat. And then bile arrives. And bile's not an enzyme, it doesn't do chemical reactions, it doesn't lower the activation energy and allow chemical reactions to proceed at a greater rate. But what it is, is a detergent, it's a surfactant. And that means that what it does is it tends to break up or emulsify droplets of fats. And the way they do that is simply that one end of a bile molecule is hydrophobic and one end is hydrophilic. The hydrophobic end burrows away from the water and into the droplet of fat. The hydrophilic part, the head, stays outside. And the more of those things burrow into it, they separate out the fat droplets and emulsify them. And emulsify just means break up large droplets into small droplets. So an emulsion such as an emulsion paint or milk or something like that is simply small droplets of fat in a water, in a, a hydrophilic substance and the usual